All right, Todd's back now, and we were just discussing um, boating, because <laughs> yeah. I, I, I had the opportunity to go out on a boat yesterday. It was weird, because when we went out, it was sunny, right. and then we got rained on just a little bit. Sure. Not much, but the clouds kind of rolled in all yeah. of a sudden. And, and you got a little chill, too, I bet. Yeah, it got mm -hmm. a little chilly. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's great this time of the year when the sun is out, and then when it goes behind a cloud or a brief shower goes through, it's like, okay, where's that jacket? Where'd I leave it? Yeah. I need it now. Yeah, kind of these, thing. these are, this is the time of year where yeah. you need to be prepared for you, anything. You, you certainly do. And today's going to be just like yesterday where we're going to have some sun out there, but you know, you might also get rain down real quick for like five or 10 minutes. And we have some showers moving through right now. Actually a pretty solid area of rain that's uh, working through uh, the Belgrade Lakes area, pushing into Augusta. Uh, Reed Field back through Hartford, Rumford just got wet. Same with Farmington. Waterville, you still have some light rain, heavier stuff working toward Windsor and China right now. Eastern Maine had some wet weather just come through Bangor. It's shifting south, but there's still some sprinkles around town. Steadier rains entering down East Maine, Ellsworth, and now MDI. It looks like those showers, that first wave will be drying up and we'll get into some sun, but then we'll probably bubble up another one later on. Hey, it's down to 33 right now in Lewiston and Auburn. That's really close to 32. These next couple of nights are going to have some chilly spots getting down around freezing. So we're going to have some frost problems possible later on tonight and tomorrow morning too. There's the low spinning around with its upper level energy almost exiting, but we're still under the influence today. And then tomorrow and Friday and most of the weekend that high will be near us and things look really great. Clear and quiet for some, but quite wet for others. Showed you that rain, a lot of it shifting out of here by 9 a.m. It'll start out chilly with a jacket, but then it warms up in the sunshine. And we're going to have a pretty lengthy period of sun, several hours, like maybe 10 to 1 o'clock. And then that cloud switch gets turned on. They start bubbling up, and once again, this afternoon, we'll end up with some of those scattered, heavier showers, brief ones, maybe even a rumble of thunder in there, too. And the pattern will be sun, then five or 10 minutes of rain, and then sun again. And that's a good little recipe for some rainbows. So I wouldn't be shocked if we get some rainbow picks later on today. Here are your highs reaching the lower 60s, and that's pretty close to where we should be for Bangor, Waterville, Augusta, Lewiston, Portland, mid 60s at 64 with Sanford and Portsmouth, and a little milder up in the mountains and north where temperatures reach the mid 50s as opposed to the lower ones that we had yesterday. So as we go through the end of the week, things turn quiet and kind of stay quiet. No big storms around us. We'll have quite a bit of sunshine, warmer temperatures too, 65 to 70 tomorrow and Friday. And over the weekend, the pattern doesn't change a whole lot. Stays pretty solid with quite a bit of sun out there. I can't rule out a brief isolated pop up shower both afternoons, but in general, we're going to have a lot of rain free time over the next several days. Marine forecast sees two to four feet, west winds 10 to 20 knots. Here's the seven day. We'll call it partly sunny today. A few showers out there, especially this afternoon. High 62. Tomorrow looks great. Mostly sunny, warmer, 65 to 70. Same thing on Friday. Mostly sunny and warm, 65 to 70. Over the weekend, a mix of sunshine and clouds. Again, a small chance for a quick little shower in the afternoons there on Saturday and Sunday. And the nice weather continues into next week as well. With sunshine and highs a little above where they should be closer to 70 degrees on Monday and Tuesday too. All right, we'll take that. Yeah, it looks for pretty sure. Good. That looks good. Looking forward to it. All right, thanks Todd.